When you're inspecting yachts, you'll need to use a number of tools to examine the different stages of preparation and application. The inspection equipment can be split into various categories. These are surface status equipment, climatic conditions, viscosity measurement, paint film builds, hardness of cured fillers and resins, adhesion and visual aids. To measure the surface profile of metal surfaces prior to initial priming, you'll need to use a range of equipment to gain an accurate reading. The surface profile is the average peak to valley depth, which is produced during surface preparation. The first method is by use of a surface profile depth micrometer. This machine uses a sharp spring loaded needle protruding out of a flat base. The machine is set on glass and the needle is zeroed. The machine is then placed on the surface to be measured. The needle enters into the profile and the gauge can be read. Multiple readings over the area are taken to obtain an average reading. Measurement of profile is critical to ensure that the primers applied can obtain a suitable adhesion. It's also important the profile is not so great that the primer cannot cover the peaks and valleys. Salt detection kit is occasionally used in yacht circles, but as vessels increase in size, use of this type of equipment should become more common. Special test kits are available that will measure the salt level on a surface prior to painting. The moisture meter is an important tool, required to ensure levels of moisture in GRP or FRP laminates below the waterline are below levels at which osmosis might occur or reoccur. It's also useful to estimate the moisture levels in aged GRP or FRP laminates above the waterline, such as superstructures, prior to painting for the first time. As a minimum, a unit capable of measuring air temperature and humidity is required to determine whether painting can commence. This is especially important when using high performance finishes as high humidity has an adverse effect on flow, cure and gloss levels. Additionally, an instrument capable of measuring the surface dew point is desirable as moisture deposited on the surface when applying paint will reduce adhesion and lead to many other problems. A Zahn flow cup or similar viscosity cup is a useful piece of equipment used to measure viscosity. The time taken for the paint emerging from the cup to break into droplets from a constant stream is measured using a stopwatch. When paint is applied to the surface, a wet film gauge is required in order to measure wet film builds. This is a quick and easy task and is important as film build is the critical factor at all times. It's far easier to monitor film builds during application than when the paint is cured. This helps to reduce costs as any necessary changes can be made during the application. When the paint is cured, a dry film gauge must be used to measure the film build. Two types are generally available for use on metallic and non-metallic substrates. The simplest test that can be carried out on an epoxy fairing compound or laminate is to test the hardness of the cured resin or filler. This will give you some idea as to the state of the cured material. For example, a typical cured epoxy fairing compound would have a sure D durometer reading of 55 to 60 when fully cured. By using such machines, correctly mixed or poorly cured product can be identified, allowing removal and refilling before painting commences, rather than discovering problems after painting has been completed. Adhesion can be simply checked by using a sharp standing knife and a ruler to produce the required grid pattern of cross cuts. Tools are available that will produce the multiple cuts in one go, 
thereby saving time and producing far more repeatable results. These adhesion tests are required before applying new paint systems over old paint systems to ensure the old system has an adequate level of adhesion. A simple handheld 10 times magnification power unit is an essential piece of equipment for viewing any number of problems. They're very useful for checking surfaces prior to painting to ensure they're well prepared. <laughs>